What's up, YouTube? It's been a while. I have I have been absolutely lazy. I've been grinding the hell out of Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, let me just say, I literally have over 150 hours already of uh, Monster Hunter Rise, so that tells me a lot, right? But yeah, absolutely loving Monster Hunter Rise. Currently, am in the DLC. I'm probably not going to play it. Uh, for the channel because I kind of just want to play it by myself and just experience it myself and been enjoying a lot of the Monster Hunter Rise YouTubers because well I'm too lazy to figure it out myself so all the Palamute stuff all the Palico stuff all the builds and you know decorations to set yeah um I just been doing that just like watching videos and copying all that yeah so yeah but Pokemon Presents came out like two days ago. I'm pretty late on this. Uh, this video is probably going to be out on August 5th if I can edit it fast enough. But yeah, the next time you see a video on this channel, it'll probably be in a different location. So, next time you see me, I'll probably be in my apartment. Because school, how I dread it. But yeah, so let's react to the Pokemon Presents. Last time... On Pokemon Presents, or not really Pokemon Presents, but yeah, this video is from freaking IGN. I have no idea why this thing happens on YouTube. Um, it's probably like my router or something. Yeah, I have an Asus router. Things happened. Twist streams go haywire. A load of stuff. But yeah, uh, so let's watch Pokemon Presents. I have not seen anything about this, so. Let's get it on. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya. Yeah, this is on speaker. I'm going to wear my headphones. From the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon Presents, we will be sharing information on several of our games, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But before that, I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK, this year from August 18th cool. to August 21st. I'm not a competitive a uh, Pokemon person, but I do like watching it here and there. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I do I'm play Chris some Brown Pokemon Showdown Pokemon here and there, but I, I gotta and I'm say, delighted to share with you the RNG and Pokemon, Pokemon Showdown World killed Championships. me. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London, for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokemon Tournament Deluxe events. Many players Pokemon have tournament? earning their invitation Wait. over several years, and we are thrilled Wait, to I learn actually, who will like, earn the title of World Champion really in 2022. Enjoy this year, we are also adding many new elements to the show. I don't know about you guys, but I played a, a crap ton. Please join me in welcoming a crap Pokemon ton Go, where nearly one Pokemon showdown. Not Pokemon Asians. showdown. And Pokemon what was it on the N64? Teams from what was the game on the N64? These players have battled was it Pokemon Showdown or Pokemon Stadium? It was Pokemon Stadium. Very first I played a crap ton of Pokemon Stadium. And I mained the absolute hell out of, I think it was Mario. And including YouTube. our largest ever Pokemon Center World's Pop-Up Shop. For those unable to attend in person, I don't know, I just like Pokemon all the fighting games. Wherever you are on our dedicated live streams. But yeah, I haven't been much of a uh, Pokemon card game person. Every championship match. Uh, I did collect the cards division. here and there growing Pokemon up. Pokemon tournaments are held around the world. Sold them all. And we hope the competition I either sold the them all or I gave them away. I think I sold some of them, but I gave most friends of them away. Battle. And one more thing. It's my honor to unveil for fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu Trophy. Take a look. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty Thank cool. You. We look forward to you seeing you. You have your own London, trophy. Pikachu's now, holding like the trophy. Mr. Utsunomiya. Pretty cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the it's edge of your seats. It's been three years, yeah. Because of now, the... Um, I'd like to share some news about a few of our I don't games. know if YouTube's still, like, automatically... Whatchamacallit, fucking... 
for the first your time in three years, we had in-person yeah, Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. <clears throat> and this weekend, oh, we will Berlin, be holding Seattle? an event cool. in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event. Oh, God. And these God. Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest I stopped playing Pokemon Go, event. like, will be held on ever since, like, the middle of COVID. The finale is I a global event playing Pokemon that can be Go. enjoyed by trainers I, like, wherever they are in the world. Even before be able to I picked up Pokemon, Pokemon Go again before COVID, I already wasn't playing all that much. They can the mythical Pokemon Shaman by completing special research. I am so far behind in Pokemon will Go. Will you be able to Help I don't think this will beasts? make me go back in. And what has become of Professor Willow, who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? Stay tuned wow, for so the story's Wow, so much stuff has been conclusion. going on in Pokemon. Holy. Additionally, Daily Adventure Incense has been added to the game. It's a special incense that can be used once a day and lasts for 15 minutes. It can attract Pokemon not normally seen in your area, and rumors say it might even attract legendary Pokemon. Use daily okay. adventure incense for a 15 minute adventure every day. That's cool. You can catch the legendary Pokemon years, in the wild now. Pokemon from every That's pretty cool. Debut in Pokemon Go. Other than uh, going to what you call it, you can the, to the, the gyms and then waiting for a legendary or whatever to spawn. Go Fest or That's having cool. heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships. The entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started. I wonder if those are actual like Pokemon goers or they're just paid actors. That's Pokemon what I wonder. Unite, the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Yeah, Pokemon Unite. <sighs> Pokemon Unite has continued to grow. In a I don't know if you guys know this on the channel or if you guys have seen the older videos. I played Pokemon Go. Pokemon I was a Greninja main. I was a freaking Zeraora main. Looks like they have freaking Dragonite in there now, like crazy a shit. A new type of quick battle, Pika Party, will begin today, August 3rd. In this special I like my Pokemon Go, but of our first like this All game, Pokemon after a while, it just wild and it was just like not that Pikachu. fun anymore. I would we just rather play League of Legends. I'm not even going to lie. I would just rather play League of Legends. Additionally, Buzzwool will be joining Unite Battle. No way, Buzzwool? Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. You know what? Run amok in battle with Buzzwool's ability. Beast like, it's cool to play the big boy. You know, I kind of see him like Dr. Disrespect in a way, the two time. But, uh... I don't His think this will bring me back to Pokemon. the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. Oh, it looks like they got the grass September starter in there, well, too. So please stay tuned. Tar, that's pretty cool. Glacion, and that's pretty cool, too, honestly. That's actually really cool. Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first Straight up, with the amount of Pokemon that's in Pokemon, like, there's almost like a thousand Pokemon now or something like that. There's, there's, there's going to be almost as much Pokemon uh, to play as, like, League of Legends characters to play like it's gonna be so much but also imagine what pokemon would look like if it was a pc game instead of a switch game oh and then it's red wait are they doing a gold and silver remake hold up hold up they're doing a gold and silver remake hold up oh no no it's not it's just okay okay this this got me a little hype this got me a little <laughs> hype all right i was like wait wait, wait. Mm. is it a gold and silver remake because if it is you already know. Gold and Silver was one of the first uh, Pokemon games that I played on, like, I think it was, like, the Nintendo DS or the DSi or something like that. What the heck is this? What's this? Looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon Cafe Remix okay, game. Okay, cafe and stuff. It's hungry. I'm going to skip because who cares about Pokemon Cafe? Yeah, I wonder how much it costs to like make those suits. I Next bet it costs like up, an update a thousand, two thousand dollars. All right, on to the main stuff. On to the main stuff. Trailer does not reflect actual gameplay experience. All right.
like, I will say the graphics, Attention, like, please. it's probably because it's just YouTube, Today, but, like, we begin it looks about the same. Oh, oh, treasure oh. Hunt. I'm going to automatically assume that the majority of you people have already seen the trailer and is probably just looking for other people's opinions on the trailer. So, I'm going to be pausing a lot. So, Today, we be begin. let's take a look at these legendaries. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. My lord. Okay. Today, we begin... Okay, so this is the in-game look of the legendary. That's a pretty big legendary. It's pretty big. But then again, like Garatina, uh, Palkia, and, and uh, Dialga are like absolutely enormous. But then they're small as hell in game two. So, hmm, it looks kind of cool so far. I think, I think the neck part of like the dragon for this one. It's not as bulbous, you know, it's not as round as I thought it would be. It's, it's, it looks like a bit more, you know, just like a neck, right? I was hoping it to be look a little bit more bulbous, like an actual bike, right? Uh, and same goes for the, um... The treasure hunt. We begin. Let's see. It looks like we're about to see a, another look at the legendaries too, but... We're gonna look at the side profile first. <clears throat> I like it so far, uh, and it has back feet, it has hind legs. In the uh, what is it? The more detailed version. Like, imagine if Pokemon was not a like, was it an ha a handheld, uh, you know, game? What if it feels like an actual PC game? What would the graphics look like? Yeah, um, actually has actually has hind legs now, so that's pretty cool. Um. It stands on four legs instead of hover, which I kind of would prefer it if it was hovering. Like, it'd make it more jet-like, but whatever, it's fine. The treasure hunt. Okay, so these are the actual, like, looks and whatnot. Paldea. Oh? You can ride them? Travel across Paldea. Oh? Okay, so they're actual, like, bikes now. Okay. That's interesting, kind of weird, but like, I guess, it's like, you're probably going to get a bike in this, right? Because the majority of Pokemon games, you always have bikes, because that's the fastest way to get around the majority of times, and you're going to have obstacles to ride the bikes on. So I guess these legendaries replace bikes? Like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I won't lie. I still do like the uh, the Indian aztec -y looking red one more than this one. And again, I forget their names. Um, one was past and one is future. This one's future, of course. Um, but yeah, interesting. So I'm guessing like you can ri just ride them and then they're just like, they just become bikes. That's pretty cool, honestly. Okay. Get to know the region. Also, oh my god, I, I I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't I don't hate hate it, but like I I just hate. Like, why is this one like? I know it's like supposed to be like past, and it's supposed to be like, you know, like primal in a way, <clears throat> and old technology, right? Why is it running on four legs? Why does it have? these bike tires looking things in his design if you're not going to use them and this one actually uses it it looks cool as hell you know what i think i may i might change what i'm going to get because this futuristic one just looks too cool like and it's an actual bike bike too like i don't know <laughs> Oh, and they both fly. The abundant and the bike one looks like it can run on fours as well, but it prefers to be on its actual bike. Like, it's supposed the to be. Culture. Oh, man. The Pokemon. You know what? I, I think I might just get Violet instead of Scarlet. I might just get Violet, honestly. Violet might. And Violet may probably have the better of the. Uh, 
Pokemon exclusives too. Where will you go? <clears throat> Who will you meet? What will you achieve? Oh, oh, oh. So obviously that's probably a new gym leader or another or your rival or whatever. Even though we've already seen who our rivals are, so this is probably a gym leader. But also, what the heck is this Pokemon? Yo, what the heck is this? It's like, what was it? A narwhal? It's like a spiky narwhal whale looking thing. That's so cool. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. It has the design where it opens its mouth and it's almost predator-like. That's pretty cool. Ah, it's a, it's a white three spiky whale that has like the mouth like a predator in a way. That's pretty cool. Also, I got a feeling that like I missed something. Like I feel like I missed something. Who will you meet? Okay, so that's this is our rival, of course. She's gonna have like some of the um the early Pokemon that were mentioned in the last video. This is the Professor for Scarlet, Professor for Violet. Don't know who this is. This could be another gym leader, a friend we meet along the way. This person could be another rival. You may have like five, six rivals. This one looks like. What will you achieve? This looks like a gym leader. That's a new Pokemon. What the heck is this floating flying car that looks like it was made in like New Mexico that looks cool as hell? With you will be your Pokemon. Journey together. Oh. oh, okay. Like, like just looking at. Journey hold together. on, hold on, hold on. Like just looking at this, like I prefer Violet at this point because the the super futuristic sci-fi dragon is an actual bike bike, and this freaking uh scarlet dragon freaking lizard thing is use is running on fours like just use your tires i hate that it's like you have it there but don't use it it makes no sense is it is it one of those things where like the lizard just like explodes its freaking frills or it's like neck just to look big and that's it like ah uh, i hate that i hate that it's like it's there just to look cool and that's about it and it's not functional whatsoever but then the futuristic dragon is looks cool it's there and it's functional like learn together grow together was there any new pokemon there so obviously this this learn shining together. plant here could be something we don't know what this is this could be like a new raid den max Gigantamax stuff. We'll see. Could be a new thing for the region. No new Pokemon except for the pig here, which we're definitely going to use when I play this game. Together. I swear to God, if I play this game before I play any of the Batman Arkham games, I actually feel lazy as hell. Noivern. Trading. Battling. Oh, it still looks fine. Find something to treasure. Again, all the graphics here are not going to be like final and everything. Like, I would say it looks like Pokemon Legends Arceus. Maybe a bit of a downgrade. It could be just a YouTube quality. But yeah. And what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Hold. Is this the new thing for the region? Is this the new thing for the region? An ice move on a Persian. Yeah, that's a Persian. And that's like an ice move. And it. Huh? And it gains a ice shell? Huh? Uh, is it ice or is it gemstone? Because it looks like diamonds right now, right? 
has like the geometric structure of like a diamond or something, right? It's not really ice. It, yeah, it's freaking diamond. So I guess they have a crown of like precious, precious gemstones now. And that's the new gimmick for this. Like, I guess it makes sense, right? I forget where this is. I think it was Spain. Like, I guess royalty, I guess they're going to probably have something about that. And then it's going to be focused around like gemstones or something. Is the, is the gemstones going to be the connecting little like in between of like the future and the past? Uh, I don't know. Could be. I guess it's, it's, it's an interesting idea. It's a little wonky for, for my taste personally. A little wonky, but it's like, okay, right? We'll see what they do. Oh, that's a Dragonite too. One of my most favorite Pokemon growing up was Dragonite. Just because it was a simple dragon and it was strong as hell. Um, is that it? What the heck is that on its head? That looks so weird. So I'm guessing this is like a new form for the new region. And it's going to be like you have a crystal and a ball. A crystal ball, I guess. And you kind of it has like some type of special power. You throw it over your Pokemon. And they have like a diamond shell around them. And some type of like accessory that gives them like new elemental powers. I'm guessing. Or like a new item ability. Because like this makes it kind of look like Dragonite is like a dragon flying in fire type now. This is... Oh, oh, oh god. Okay. So it looks like you can only have one on your team. Uh, okay, new throwing animation. Let the treasure hunt begin. The, the, the back to the side look. Every freaking uh, movie cover, like it's like an Akuma Street Fighter, like side turn look. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. That was pretty cool, but again, you know what? I'm feeling violet right now. I'm feeling violet. Scarlet, I love the design. Like, I absolutely love and adore the design. But in game, like, I know this ain't final, but. I'm a very much of a function over form type of person and the fact that the Scarlet Legendary just has a giant tire that is not even going to use and it's going to freaking run on fours the entire time. I just hate it. I hate it. <clears throat> but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I may change my mind later, but right now I was feeling Scarlet. I'm liking Violet a lot more just because the Legendary it turns into a freaking bike. All right. That's freaking cool. We're now starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented. So let's take a closer look together, shall we? Paldea? The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These titles will be open-world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon series. Wait, didn't they do that in Arceus? I didn't play Arceus, so I could be wrong. Go ahead and uh, correct me in the comments down below. But, I don't think that's the first, right? Like, open-world, like, I'm pretty sure we had that in the DLCs. In a way, for, uh... Sword and Shield, the DLCs, and I'm pretty sure Pokemon Legends Arceus was somewhat open world, and it was like you could fight with the actual Pokemon. Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where Paldea your new region. adventure will unfold. So, are they going to call the new like gemstone forms? Like the Paldea power or something like that, or the 
Palestone, something like that. I don't know. These are the legendary Pokemon. Coridon and Miraidon. and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them. Coridon. It ain't it at the moment. Like, like again, like Coridon looks cool, right? He looks cool. Miraidon looks cool as well. I prefer the design of Coridon, right? But then when it turns into a bike, like, I'm a function over form. And the function is just a giant bike on its neck. Coridon literally runs on fours still. And I'm going to be, I'm going to say this again and again. And you may get tired of this, but I'm feeling Miraidon right now. Just the because legendary Pokemon. Coridon the fact and that it Miraidon. turns into an you'll actual bike. you rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. <clears throat> Climb on. And together you'll dash across grassy fields. Yeah, like, look at this. What looks cooler? What looks cooler? Of course, Miraidon looks cooler. You cannot deny that. You cannot deny that Miraidon looks cooler than Koraidon, alright? It's, you're straight up... Just on an animal. You literally take away the bikes and it's still... Not the bikes. But you take away the wheels and it's literally doing the same thing. You take away the wheels on the freaking Midaidon and it turns into a hover bike. Move across water and glide through the sky. And Midaidon looks cooler Your too partner can change forms as Midaidon just looks cooler now. Every nook I have a newfound appreciation for the design of Midaidon. And I absolutely love it now. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Oh. It looks like we're going to have a group of friends. And those group of friends are probably going to be our rivals. And that's probably the three kids that we saw. The really um, shy looking uh, introverted kid. is probably another mate from the school. <clears throat> that's our friend. And then we have the over rambunctious like outgoing kid. Who looks strong, right? He's probably another one of our friends. And then, of course, we have our rival. <clears throat> and a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own. Here in Paldea. Uh, I guess. I guess that's where the gemstones come from. I guess it's a treasure hunt, right? And I'm guessing they're pulling from the fact that um, Spain, like, historically, and I could be wrong, because if I could remember everything in history class, I would be, I would have Alzheimer's or dementia by the time I'm 30. But, um, if I remember correctly, like, Columbus, all that crap, right? Pretty sure that was Spain, not Portugal or something, right? Um, and all their expeditions, and all the whole, like, finding the fountain of youth and all that, right? So... This could be why this treasure hunt, this could be why uh, our Pokemon get powered up by gemstones, right? So, Three this could be the reason. Three stories are waiting for you. <clears throat> One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. In okay, these games, usual, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is like a true, like, choose your own story Elden Ring type thing, right? So, we don't have a story progression for the gems. We just kind of go to the gems and then it happens. Honestly, like, I guess whatever route you take, you just kind of beat the gym in the city you're in, right? If, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking is correct... And no matter where you go, the Pokemon are going to be at the level or like maybe three, four levels above the level of your like highest level Pokemon on your team. If that's how I think it is, then it doesn't really matter where you're going because they're because it's still going to be somewhat of a difficult journey because the Pokemon you're battling are going to be same level, if not higher. <clears throat> so... I guess. Your very own course along Victory Road. Sea Titan. 
Sea Titan? Is that how you say it? Sea Titan or Set Titan? Set Set Titan. Sea Titan. I'm just gonna say Sea Titan. It sounds better. Also, this Pokemon looks cool as hell. The other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and Metallica. discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? Go How goes. will you progress through them? It is all up to you. The cast characters you meet in the story. Looks like there's Professor a ghost Sada there. and Professor Churro. Research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. Sounds about right. And Mr. Ah, uh, and he has a different suit on depending on the uh, version of the game you have. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches by. He looks like Frankenstein from Soul Metal. Not Full Metal Alchemist. He looks like Frankenstein from Soul Eater. That's what this guy reminds me of. But of course, like more wacky hair. Or the weird scientist guy from like Kill a Kill. Yeah, the weird scientist guy from Kill a Kill. That's what this guy reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. Biology. Looks about right. You'll have your battle loving friend, Nimona. Oh, okay, so she's and like the battle Arvin, junkie. And you'll meet an upperclassman and a great cook. Okay. There's also Penny. Sounds... Sanji, anybody? Great cook, upperclassman, right? Sanji, anybody? One, one, one eye always covered, right? Almost like a Ikemen type of guy, right? Sanji, anybody? Any One Piece fans out there? Arvin, an upper. Also, One Piece is absolutely phenomenal right now. Classman and a great cook. I haven't been talking about One Piece There's because Toei Penny, tends to like to flag my videos, and I'm just like, nah, I ain't gonna deal with there it. There are gym. There's also Penny. A shy student in your okay so penny a girl who's shy also our friend she's probably going to have some type of overpowered pokemon and is going to blast somebody with it great there are gym leaders too like grusha okay, the yeah. ice type gym leader thought so the people you meet in i'm going to guess like <clears throat> grusha the ice type gym obviously leader. ice type if this guy is either a teacher or a gym leader, this guy either dragon type, fairy type. Yeah, that's about it. The shirt says fairy type because, of course, you know, you got the whole macho man turning into Sailor Moon type of deal, right? Japan really likes that. You know, the whole, like, I guess the most recent thing I think of is, like, Shokugeki no Soma. When the when that one guy who is a uh, Juichiro's like old friend, and then they go into that like vegetable Sailor Moon little thing, that's what this guy reminds me of in a way. But also with the way his eyebrows and his freaking mustaches and his hair is, I think of like Bagon and Salamance and all that. So he could be depending on the game you have. He could be fairy type, could be dragon type, right? If I'm right on this. Hey, you already know. The people you meet in Pal Obviously, ghost type or dark type. You know, if we only have eight gym leaders, and of course, I think we have. I'm pretty sure we have more than eight types in the game. Of course, this this girl is either ghost type or dark type, right? Either way. They are sure to enrich your. Bug type. Bug type? I was going to say light type, but there is no such thing as light type. So I was about to like, it's like, what am I talking about? So bug type, grass type, I don't Your know. Adventures. I, I can't guess on that chick. Many different species of Pokemon Could be also type. call the Paldea like region <laughs> home. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. Paldean Wooper. Let me see. It's a brown whooper that looks like it has bones on the side of its head. Whooper is water type and then turns into water ground type, which is one of the best typings in the game. That's why I like Salamence a lot. Um, 
He's going to turn into a water rock. Is he going to turn into a water rock type? And then maybe turn into a rock ground type? Or is he just going to straight up be like the same progression? Like, Wooper's going to be like a rock type now. And then turns into a rock and ground. Hmm. We'll see. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Fido oh, are delightfully Fido. squishy Pokemon that are Another smooth pupper. to touch. And here's Satitan, which has a large so body Titan and a hard cool. horn that can freeze its surroundings. So Titan looks cool as Of hell. course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito. Sprigatito. Quicoco. And Quaxly. Quaxly. Quaxly! Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to pick Quaxly. But the Fuecoco is just so cool. Because, like, of course, I grew up on watching Godzilla. That's why the, ch the channel is called, like, Kaiju, right? My name and then the Kaiju. So, like, of course, I love me my giant monsters, right? So, Fuecoco's kind of the way to go, right? But then Quaxly reminds me of, like, this really old TV show that I watched reruns on. Which, like, I I'm not that old. Well, I'm 20 right now. I'm 21 in August. Uh, August 13th. But, like, I'm not that old. But, I used to watch reruns of, like, Happy Days. And Fuecoco reminds... Fuecoco. Not Fuecoco. Quaxly and Qua reminds me of, like, Fonzie where he goes, like, hey, and then he just, like, hits something and it works. Right? That's what he reminds me of. Sleep. <clears throat> Enjoy needing lots of Pokemon. And complete your Pokedex I want to see more new adventure. Pokemon. I want to see, like, maybe one more of what they got. Oh, is that how the Pokedex are now? That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool, actually. It's like... You're putting books into the By using uh, the union circle. Into, like, you can enjoy co-op play what is it, with Rotom up to three friends. Now, instead of it just like being You can Pokemon, go look for like Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. <clears throat> or even ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and We're friends. We're just straight up being biker gangs in this game now. The mysterious terrestrial phenomenon. Terrestrialize. What are we, terraformers? What? Terrestrialized. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. The terrestrial phenomenon terrestrial? makes Pokemon shine like gems. Okay. So is it based on what gem you have, or is it based on the terrain? Because the way I'm thinking about it is based on the terrain you're in. Also, all these, like, headdresses are, like, so crazy. Oh, I guess it is the terrain you're in. Because that's the same headset, or not headset, but headdress that was on the Dragon Knight earlier. So I'm guessing we have four. We have four, whatchamacallit, uh, areas, right? We have four areas. We have the Savannah, uh... The glacial area, the meadows, and then we have, uh, like, the water area, right? So it's, like, water, fire, I guess, grass, and then ice, I guess. <clears throat> All Pokemon in the Paldea region are oh, able to terrestrialize. Oh, there's only three. So there's water, fire, and grass. Okay. Okay, and I'm guessing the glacial area kind of makes no sense. It's still water. Just another form of water. Which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves strong. Oh, okay, okay. So Terrestrial Eyes is a boost to a certain element. Now, does Terrestrial Eyes support other typings? That's the, that's the question. Some Pokemon will change type when they Terrestrial Eyes. Oh, okay. And what is this? Is this flying type now or something? Yeah, it is flying type. What type they become seems Normal to type? depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. 
Oh, Pokemon have Terra typings now. Now, are Pokemon set to a certain Terra type? Or does every Pokemon have their own randomized Terra type? So now, you have to think about what combinations you want your team to be in now. Because, like, you could have a Fire Terra type, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Pikachu... And then you could have like a water and a grass and a flying and a normal, right? For like Pikachu. So you could have like a whole bunch of Terra typings. And you can kind of like have a lot of like team uh, combinations or team diversity. And I don't like using that word a lot because it's used in a lot of stupid ways nowadays. But like a lot of, you know, diversity and like team comp for Pokemon. Because they are now adding the Terra typing. So do all Pokemon have their own randomized typing? Or is each Pokemon set to their own typing? That's the question. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing. But there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, so they all have their own randomized We hope you'll try typing. to catch Pokemon with rare Terra types. Oh, and I'm... Oh... And, I, and I'm guessing that the shiny, almost Gigantamax plant is what we use to go to these Terra Dens, I'm going to call them. That's what I'm guessing. I'm going to predict some of this, right? So that plant that we find that's glowing bright red could be what we use to go into these Terra Dens, I'm going to call them. And we catch certain... Uh, Terra Pokemon with certain Terra typings. Terra raid battles with allies. Yeah. Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. What is considered rare? Is there like a fairy you Terra can type? Terra Pokemon in a these dragon Terra type? Three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Huh? Why? Try to cooperate with your. I guess. I guess they saw how raid dens were, and they're like, solo raid denning is so trash that we have to give you uh, more ways to help you in raid dens, so you don't get like freaking wiped. Okay. Um. Like. It's cool, I guess. It's cool. It does make, I guess, raiding easier because with this whole new Terra typing now, those Terra Pokemon are obviously going to be boosted because of their freaking Terra typing now, and they're they're going to ter uh, terrorize whatever. So they're going to be stronger, and I guess having that healing mitigates the bit of that damage that you're going to take. Okay. Allies to get the upper hand in these battles. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. This is pretty interesting. We've kept so far. all the things you love about Pokemon this is pretty while interesting evolving so far. the adventure you can have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. I am kind of hooked on to Pokemon Violet right now. The Pokemon Scarlet <clears throat> and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Your Knows the move study. fly. So now we have... So we used to have Surfing Pikachu... Now we have flying Pikachu. Caldea okay. Region begins in three months. Okay. We eagerly await your enrollment. Alright. That's all for today's presentation. Caldea so at participate. Let me see. That means we got like like what, three months or something like that? Let's see what yeah, three months. We got three months to go. And we can pre order now. Oh man. <clears throat> oh 
man. I'm definitely not buying Scarlet now. I'm definitely not buying Scarlet. I'm most likely buying Violet because the Pokemon is cooler and it, and it freaking is a bike. And if you take away the bike, it's not even running on all fours. It's a freaking hover bike. And that what makes it cool. Well, this one is running on all fours the whole time. So, <clears throat> there are four types of Terra types. Water, grass, fire, normal, and flying. That's all that we know so far. And each Terra Pokemon have their own typing. Oh, God. I wonder how the how the competitive scene for Pokemon is going to look like now. I wonder if you can have, like, a Terra Pokemon on your team, and a Gigantamax, and a Mega Evolve. Like, oh, God. There's so much now, man. There's so much. Now, what do I think about Terra typings? Is it cool? Is it interesting? Is it new and innovative? Um, is it innovative? I don't know. I can't say for certain. Is it cool? Kind of. Right? Because if you have a certain Terra typing for a certain Pokemon, then it boosts that Pokemon's uh, elemental typing, right? For the move. So like for Leafage here on our Sprigito, it has the terrestrialized grass. So those grass moves are boosted, right? Very simple, common sense type of thing. But, since it's weak to, like, fire, what if it was terrestrialized water and you had a water-type move just to cover your weaknesses, right? You could do so much things now. I think that's cool. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah. I guess new ways to cover up for your weaknesses, in a way. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but also... Like, you have you have G Max moves now and all that stuff too. So let's. Oh, we'll see. I guess we kind of have to know the damage modifiers of Terrestrialize. Like, if Terrestrialize gives you like a 20, 30 percent boost, or like maybe less, like fifteen percent boost. I I forget how much uh, Gigantamax moves or. Just like max moves in general, like how much of a bigger step up in damage it is. But yeah, so we'll see. If Terrestrial Eyes has the same amount of damage or more damage than a G-Max move, like, you know, viable. Viable. I'm not a competitive Pokemon person, but I like to think of these things. Because like, you know, I like to min-max life, right? And I'm try I always try to min-max my way through games. Like, what is the minimal amount of effort for the maximum amount of payout, right? <clears throat> so, of course, it's a lot of mental work, and you just got to think about things and a lot of numbers. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see if Terrestrial Eyes uh, boosts your damage enough. Um, even on a, like, you know, even for, like, a weakness of a grass type is using a water type move and it's terrestrialized water, right? Um, so we'll have to see. I think this is pretty cool. Interesting. Um, innovative. Kind of. Kind of. New ways to cover for your weaknesses instead of, like, having to put on, like, a move enhancing item or whatever, right? So this could be very interesting. The new Pokemon, I love Sea Titan or Sea Titan. I love this. I love this design. I love it. It's a spiky freaking whale, right? I love the design on it. Um, yeah, I think I don't got much else to say other than that. It's really um pretty cool so far. I like it. We don't care about Pokemon Cafe, of course. Um, yeah. So, pre-orders are out now. I'm probably going to pre-order in a bit. And, uh, yeah. That's all I really gotta say. So, 
if you got to the end of the video and you liked what I had to say or anything of the sort, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.